That's to ensure that the drinks are being made right. Probably use one of those hot cup of coffees in the mornings around here. It's getting cool. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. You're right. And so the question is, did we get the snow across the northern mountains last night? And the answer? Yes, we uh -huh. did. It's an inch or two Beautiful. up around areas like Wheeler Peak. So some pretty cool stuff up there. And the leaves, as you guys can see from this shot, are changing. And it's a great time to go up there to check it out. There it is. Some more stuff from Tom Conway. Tom, thanks very much. Good-looking leaves. And, of course, nice to see the snow up in the Wheeler Peak Wilderness area. question now is, when will we all start to freeze? Some interesting stuff on the first frost. These are the average first frost dates for some areas across New Mexico, Las Vegas, October 6th, so we've already passed your average date. Meanwhile, Farmington and Lordsburg both have the same average freeze date. That kind of surprised me a little bit, but Lordsburg a little lower in elevation, some of that cooler air filtering in there, so kind of an interesting number. Albuquerque, the Sunport, this is one of the latest numbers in the state. In fact, even Las Cruces tends to freeze before the Sunport does. So, Dick, that may explain why we're having that snow problem over the past lifetime. And around Roswell, October 21st, and just to throw a number at you, Eagle Nest. August 13th is when they usually have their first freeze. So we have a huge elevation difference across New Mexico, and it leads to big-time temperature differences. 63 degrees here in the metro area right now. East-northeast winds out there at around 5 miles an hour. 30s and 40s to the north, down to the south, anywhere from the 40s all the way up into the 60s. Now, as far as showers go, not an issue for us tonight. Largely clear skies with high pressure overhead. The next couple of days look very, very quiet for us. We're going to have nice weather out there, lots of sunshine. Now, the high is eventually going to get shoved to the east. East of us by about Saturday into Sunday. Now we'll allow for just a little bit of moisture to creep in to southwestern sections of the state. This could lead to an occasional shower down here along with partly cloudy skies over the weekend, but it's nothing I'd worry about. The bigger story for us starts on Monday. And what does this next storm have going for it other than a sweet pair of acid wash jeans? Well, we'll show you. It's got a few things working for it if this ends up playing out the way we think it might. As the low drops into the southwest, it's going to draw pretty good Pacific moisture in across the western portion of the state. We also may draw some Gulf moisture in here. That moisture convergence will make for some pretty good rain and possibly mountain snows. And when you throw a cold front in on top of all of this, that's going to mean the possibility for us to start to grab some real mountain snows here. The kind of mountain snows that could end up lasting a while for the resorts and, of course, getting them started for their ski season. Not necessarily opening, but a base that could eventually help them to open sometime in late November or early December. So we'll see if this thing pans out. We start with the bus potential on this by Friday. 70s across the four corners, sunshine and mild conditions for tomorrow. Very quiet through the weekend. But then as we head into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, a winter mix possible higher up outside Durango and rain possible around Farmington down across the south and west temperatures here for tomorrow. 70s and 80s, lots of sunshine over to the southeast. Good day here tomorrow too. 80 in Roswell, 81 Portales, Carlsbad right at 80 degrees as well. And as you check out the Roswell extended forecast, things look very nice through Sunday, but then chance of showers starts to reemerge Tuesday into Wednesday. North and east, a nice temperature warm-up for tomorrow. After a cool day today, you'll rebound a bit. And over the northern mountains, after a start in the low 20s, you guys will warm into the 60s. Santa Fe will warm into the 70s with lows overnight right around 40 degrees. And that chance of showers ramps up in Santa Fe Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. East mountains, temperatures in the low 70s, sunny and breezy. And finally, right here in the metro area, looks good tomorrow and really looks good all the way through the weekend. Temperature Temperatures comfortable, nice and cool in the morning. By the afternoon, just warm enough so you won't need any sort of coat or anything like that. Looks good. But as we get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll have our chance at a first decent fall storm here. It could be a real good one for us. You know what's really nice now? All the roses are coming back because it's cooling down, yeah. and they're just really pretty. And one last blast. Yeah, one last yeah, a little blast. bit of a surprise coming uh -oh. up next week. All right. We've got sports coming right up.